a FNAF Movie 2 poster? Yeah, it's probably fan made. Holy sh- So earlier today, we got our first official poster for the second FNAF movie. It was shown off at NYCC. Now, this looks insane. It looks like a fan-made model. It looks gendered. Like, it doesn't look real. But no, this is actually the real thing. I mean, we knew that they were looking good due to the behind the scenes we got for the FNAF 10 year anniversary. But this just blew my mind. I thought it was fake, man. But it isn't. So in the poster, you can see Toy Freddy, of course. The blue eyes, a Ged Curtain, the logo, and the early state. And that's it. We also got the logo separate on the official FNAF movie Twitter account. Now, it looks freaking insane. But to be fair, there's not a lot to say. We have it brightened up. It doesn't show anything besides the fact that he's missing a limb. I'm surprised they're showing it before they even started filming. I assume they did a photo shoot like they did with the first movie posters, but it still shocked me. Now, at some point within the next couple weeks, or maybe even next week, we'll get more posters. Probably the toys, if I had to guess. I think they're going to keep the withers like a C secret for people who aren't familiar with the games and only got into it due to the first movie. But who knows, they might drop the curtain on the other side of the red curtain and show us the wizards compared to them, kind of mirroring the something borrowed something new teaser. I do think we'll get a poster for the puppet, and I assume we'll get that on November 11th, the 10th anniversary of FNAF 2. But it's just so surreal to me. It took us a couple months to get the posters for the first film after they finished filming. So to get it before they've started filming scenes is just so surreal. Also in the poster, that the tagline is come find me that's the line that the puppet says in the end of the credits in fnaf 1 but also it's important to note that on instagram they also put the caption as he always comes back another thing to note is the fact that the caption says coming to theaters instead of coming to theaters and streaming now this makes me think that it won't be released on streaming the same day as it released in cinemas which does make sense because they know the scale of this they know how bad the fans want it and they'll, they'll pay money to go see it so i do think it'll earn so much more in the box office, maybe like 10 million more, I'm not too sure. But to be fair, being released on digital was a good marketing strategy, because it got people talking about this film. The film was filled and jam-packed with easter eggs, so of course people were going to talk about it, and instead of just letting people take screenshots and spoiling it for others, they released it on digital so more people could see it. But this just feels like a fever dream, man. It's so surreal. Like, I, I, I know I've said that a lot, but it's just so crazy to me. So yeah, I'm excited to see what we get throughout the next couple of months but yeah that's all i have to say because there's not a lot to analyze but thanks for watching and please let me know your predictions for the fnaf 2 who knows they might be in a video because i am working on a fnaf 2 predictions video i have three pages of notes so far all right this has been that one fnaf guy signing off